A very good day to you. I'm Hank Gross, MidHudsonNews.com. It's Thursday, July 6th. The news today brought to you by the Galleria at Crystal Run. The state health and environmental conservation departments have issued an air quality advisory for ozone in Orange, Dutchess, Putnam, Ulster, and Sullivan counties. The advisory is in effect from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. today. Advisories are issued when DEC meteorologists predict levels of pollution, either ozone or fine particulate matter, are expected to exceed an air quality index value of 100. Auto exhaust and out-of-state emission sources are the primary causes of ground-level ozone and are the most serious air pollution problems in the Northeast, state officials say. This surface pollutant should not be confused with a protective layer of ozone in the upper atmosphere, they say. Health officials say people, especially young children, those who exercise outdoors, those involved in vigorous outdoor work, and those who have respiratory disease like asthma, should consider limiting strenuous outdoor physical activity when ozone levels are the highest, generally afternoon to evening, when outdoor levels of ozone are elevated. Officials say going indoors will usually reduce your exposure. Police in Ellenville are looking for a dark-colored newer model Mercedes sedan that was last seen leaving the scene of a shooting incident early Wednesday morning and heading south on Route 209. Two individuals were standing next to the vehicle that was parked in the lot next to the Valero gas station on Route 209 when several shots were fired at them. None of the bullets hit the intended targets, but their car was struck several times. Another bullet that was fired at them went through a window of a bedroom just missing a person who was sleeping in there at the time. The U.S. Justice Department owes several Hudson Valley police agencies their share of a $16.1 million case from 2019, and U.S. Senator Charles Schumer came to Rockland County yesterday to call for the release of the funds. In April 2019, the DEA's Westchester Tactical Diversion Squad Task Force helped crack the case against the Rochester Drug Cooperative, resulting in the feds receiving the money, and the senator said they need to cut through the red tape for local cops and pay their departments the partnership money they're owed because they've done the work well and in good faith. The Saugerty Central School District Board of Education has named Dr. Daniel Ersig as the new superintendent of schools. A Saugerty's resident himself, Ersig graduated from Saugerty's High School in 2002. He holds a Doctor of Education degree in educational leadership from Russell Sage College. Ersig will be replacing Kirk Reinhardt, who resigned from his position in March. Ersig's career began in Honolulu, Hawaii, teaching mathematics. He then went to the Arlington School District and the Kingston School District. He later served as assistant principal at Saugerties High School, director of human resources, deputy superintendent, and then interim superintendent in Saugerties. He assumes his new role immediately. More news right after this. Find over 100 retailers allowing you to spend hours shopping safely at the Galleria at Crystal Run. Enjoy the big brands and the diverse selection of family-owned stores all in one location. The Galleria at Crystal Run offers dining options for everyone with Fuji 110 Grill, Allen's Mediterranean Grill, and Peru Cuisine. Discover the Mid-Hudson Valley's premier shopping, dining, and entertainment destination, the Galleria at Crystal Run. For more information, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, or visit GalleriaCrystalRun.com. A 22-year-old Kingston man has been arrested on a federal warrant for the sale and distribution of firearms. Police say Orion McNabb McLeod was also wanted in connection with several instances of shots fired in the area. He was previously charged with criminal possession of a weapon and reckless endangerment in January in an incident and was currently out on bail for those charges. McLeod was indicted by a federal grand jury and arrested on the evening of June 29th. Assisting Kingston police in the several months-long investigation were Ulster Town Police and the Federal Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives. Two people were killed when a 2022 
Tesla Model X crashed into a house and caused it to catch fire on Route 9 in the town of Livingston. The incident occurred around 1 a.m. on Thursday, June 29th. Troopers said two people were in the house at the time of the crash. One was able to escape the flames and transported to the hospital. The second individual, identified as 81-year-old Peter Lasher, was found dead inside. Troopers say it appears that Tesla was traveling at a high rate of speed southbound on Route 9 and left the roadway striking a tree and then a house before it caused the fire. The driver, who was alone in the car, was found dead. He has not yet been positively identified. Westchester County Sports Hall of Famer Rich Leaf has been charged with and pled guilty to child pornography charges, and that has prompted officials to call on the Sports Hall of Fame to remove Leaf from their roster. Board of Legislators Chairman Vidash Gashi says Leaf's actions cannot be tolerated. By doing so, I believe that we send a clear message that our organization is committed to the safety and well-being of the community and that we won't tolerate any actions that compromise the trust and respect that we've earned over the years. County Executive George Latimer said sports Hall of Famers must be role models, particularly for young people. I'm Hank Gross, MidHudsonNews.com. The news today brought to you by the Galleria at Crystal Run.